All right, so let's talk about Welcome to Rap City. Uh, sure. Ricardo, if you don't mind, uh, you know, you could just you could kick things off with just a synopsis on what this is about, right? But pre ramble time, right? Um, I imagine it's the same thing for you, even though you you had cable before me, right? Um, yeah. When I got cable back in uh, early 2000, I believe it was, right? Uh, and I saw BT for the first time. Uh, one of the shows, one of the go-to shows for me was Rhapsody, right? Uh, that yeah. that made my evenings, right? Because this is me in secondary school, so I'm back home around, you know, five o'clock or whatever, right? And yeah, you know, five to half six, you know, for me was watching Rhapsody, right? Um, and I I came into this at the best time in my opinion while well, I seen the shows, right? right? But I, this I was the so big t- big Tigger era, right? I mean, Big Tigger right. is still, in my opinion, though, the best uh, host of the show, right? And yeah. You know, it's, it's, he was so great that, you know, and it's, it's, a, it's a great thing that this show touched on it too, um, that you didn't even think that prior to him being there, yeah, there were other, you know, um, yeah. poster, but it makes sense, yeah, right? He, and, he, you he know. defines the show. He, he more or less defines the show. I got into the show right before Big Tigger come, became the main host. Oh, ah, um, okay. This was um, when, when Big Les was there. Uh, okay. Cause I, yeah, it's something I didn't make a connection with. Um, right. I didn't know, like, I now make a connection watching this. I like Big Les. Big Les was the, the, the dancer from Live It Single. Like, she was the... That, oh, that was her. The she was oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That was her, yeah, yeah. Right. Bro, I, I, mind I, but, blown. Yeah, mind I, blown. I didn't Yeah, yeah I, didn't I even now know make that connection. Wow. I now know make that connection watching this, okay, yes, okay. to be honest. But yeah, but yeah, but, but, I, but, I was... Go ahead, sorry. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead, go ahead. No, no, Big Les, um, I, it was right before Big Les. This is when... Um, this is the... Uh, shit. The other fellow with Big Les. Um... Who came in after, right after Big Les? Was oh, hosting. that is, that is, that is, gosh, I forget the names now. Yeah, God. Uh, uh, I felt, uh, shit, slip my mind right now. Uh, but he, is when he came in, and right when Big Tigger now touch, like now coming. So it was, when he was leaving and Big Tigger now started to take over. That's when I kind of got into the show. This was 90, what, 8, 9, around that time. Um, so I got into Rhapsody. Uh, right. But I did, yeah, good, yeah. But I yeah. didn't know the host from before that. Any other yeah, host I, I, that. I didn't even know it, know it either, yeah. right? Um, because mm-hmm. to be honest, I thought that it was a new show. So like when I got cable, ah, right. I thought, oh, well, this is something new now. But it makes yeah. sense that this was something that was going on for like, you know, a while back, right? But I didn't right. know that it, it started from the late 80s. Yeah, it, that it, was it, new it was, it was a kind of, To be fair, to be fair, it was a kind of soft reboot when, when Tigger came in because right. they, they just rehauled the entire conceit of the show. Um, that, that opening is still one of the best, is the best opening. Like visually, it's such an iconic. Open. Yes, and, and that, of course that that, that, that um yeah going down going down the stairs yeah, yeah. And of course just that simple rap city city yeah. rap city yeah, yeah I love that yeah, the logo I, just, I, just, I love all that I love yeah yeah the logo the, the I just watched the visuals of it how well created very creative it was and how fast and smart it was put together yeah. um yeah but I, I saw you think about it and you think about yes them chilling out in a basement like that, that is the idea of it and it really felt like they did they, they got into that section I really enjoyed that little section well anyway go ahead now. Yeah, yeah. yeah so so that's just a close things off right you know so as a could tell we were diehard fans of this though i would say if yep. you were a rap head right like if you're a millennial rap head yeah you know rhapsody was part of your of your just just the di- uh, just the um just the, you know part of the content you know more musical content and you were you were taken in right at that time right uh for me it it was just an opportunity for me to just see videos from songs of, of songs and artists that I was hearing on the radio a lot, right? Uh, yeah. this was where, you know, I saw Ludacris for the first time and you know the well yeah. DMX and stuff like that. And right? they reference that, yeah. Yeah. Um and also and, and you know um this this is one thing that really made this show shine for me. You saw more not just mainstream artists, but you saw, I would say, relatively underground artists as well. Just just guys that yeah. you wouldn't have heard in, you know, local well, radio stations, but they were probably big, what is, you know, yeah, in, exactly. in, in urban stations in the United States, you know what I mean? Yeah. So, um, especially is, like in the 2000s, when, you know, the Dirty South was just blowing up and you, just, you, know, you heard up, a right. lot. Right. You saw a lot of, like, relatively new artists from there. So, it wasn't just Lil John and Ludacris, but you saw other um, acts from there too. I really All right. Love that. So here's here was the pipeline. How I look at it is a popularity. So yeah, okay. That, I kind of I kind of make it out myself, right? But uh, you used to see, see a lot on on the wrong stuff in BT on cut. Um, yeah. If you know, you know, right? <laughs> if you know, you know. Mm-hmm. If you know, you know. But right. But BT on cut actually had stuff that was like, oh shit, this is not just it's just the uncensored version of this video. But like, what it, you, eventually stuff you say you you used to reg, you used to, um you know upgrade from BT on cut to 
Rap City, and he used to see the censored version of the same song. Mm-hmm. Like, oh, okay, that's like an interesting connection. So like, that was like the, 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 the foot in the door, the bare foot in the door you used to barely get in um, at that point. And then, then if it was popular enough, it would get on 106 and Park. Um, so you might have seen, I think I think the only video I probably would have seen, I'm trying to think of what video that was on from BT on cut to Rap City to 106 and Park. Um, it probably had like one or two, you know, that probably pull it off. Um, but yeah. Okay. It was just that. That was, the, that was the whole thing about the undergroundness of it. And yeah, it was a working comparison to your MTV raps now. Yes, um, yes, yes. Which which I, I didn't know about, but right. um, I was, well, uh, it's, uh, you know, laughing my rap heads for, say, uh, for me say this. Yeah, I didn't know about it until Ice Cube brought it up in Today Was A Good Day. Oh, sorry. Well, right. He did. But the thing is, <laughs> the thing is though, from, from that though, like my, in my time period, when I was, thing, I was going to school, I had a lot of lessons. So I used to miss Rap City. So what I did to barely survive was I used to use my VHS to record Rhapsody to try really? to get it and then come back and, and <laughs> hope it record because uh-huh. I'm not if power go dies if your power go dies it fuck that you're going through but if power don't go you, you get through it you used to just record it because you could just um, time it for the recording the only time you used to fuck up is if it had daylight saving so if you used to miss an hour sometimes mm. uh, but I used to just take, take care and just record it like a four hours of the tape make sure the tape empty and then record like I used to record like I take up to four hours of material how about that um, so I used to catch that and catch one of six and park. So you know, miss sometimes I might have missed a piece of rhapsody and catch uh, all of one of six and park, or catch all of rhapsody and then it used to not record the last piece of one of six and park if I if I missed the um if daylight savings was off now, whatever. Right. All right. Uh, so so but, last last uh, go on, go on. I'll just yeah. see my last bit and then and then you go on. Right. But then MTV also had another show late down in that used to show very late and I used to catch this show instead, which was Direct Effect. Uh, oh, I think I, I I don't remember it that all too well. Pretty good. Right. That was a pretty good show, in my humble opinion. I, I thought that was a, a not a bad hip hop show. And yeah, basically, you know, they get into the history of it and and they talk about like the actual reasons as to why Rhapsody ended. Yeah. And I have almost no memory of anybody post ticker um yeah. what they were doing. But yeah, I, I'll I'll, um, I'll but, talk about that with, with my with my review, right? Because I actually remember a fee so too, right? But just 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 right. wrap things up, right? So a couple of things. Yeah. Um, the guy who was with um Big Les was Joe Claire. That that's his Joe yeah. Claire, right? That's yeah. what I'm trying to remember. Yeah. yeah. So right. I I didn't even know about these these hosts, right? But yeah, yeah. Um. So you know, this was my introduction to see a lot of videos. Um. Um. I loved you know. Um. Oh gosh. Uh. Well, the, 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 the Friday throwback joints, basically. Well, sorry, I think it was Friday yeah. when you said just have old school hip-hop, right? So that's where I saw, yeah. you know, um, like Nas's videos from Illmatic. This is where I saw yeah, Triangle right. Quest and, you know, stuff like that. This is where I saw Camp Low yeah. for the first time, right? So stuff like that, right? right? That, that's how I was educated on 90s hip-hop albums, right? And last but not least, and we'll talk about this when we get into the review of the of the uh, of the miniseries, uh, those basement freestyles, boy, oh my yeah, god, um, I I wish just just like a dream, just a, like a dream um release, like home media release, BT puts out yeah. like you know Hold like uh, remastered versions think, of all the get... all the boot freestyles, you know, because yeah, yeah, I, yeah, I could go on, on on YouTube and see them, but right. they they look like they rip out of VHS or like yeah, they recorded no problem, off yeah. of like uh, a late two thousands you know repeat uh oh gosh recap or recording of of rap cities like that but yeah. i want to see it pure man um just so yeah. much moments whether it was cameron counting the cash i love how they showed that there um a moment that i forgot now when we um when buju and elephant man were there elephant man, me, yes, I remember that was that big. uh when Lil ween was there um i actually yeah. remember that bit where he did the little freestyle um on set and not in the in the boot with yeah. one of the later hosts. I forgot about that. Right. You know what I mean? And it was just so much great moments though, right? And it was even better too because they were taking beats that were big though. I forget who it was, boy. Um, who was rapping over uh We Go Make It, right? With Gita Kiss did with um Alchemist produced but it's Gita Kiss and Style Speed, but I forget who the rapper was though. But right. how that person rap freestyle over that though was amazing. I really should like look it up for myself, right? But yeah, the the, the basement moments though those really mean yeah, it for that's us that's right? what they find it yeah because that's that all hurt the future hosts like none of them could have freestyle because there's a, for some reason they, they 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 push like a bunch of djs to do hosting and like well here's my problem with that right and I, again there's other saying in retrospect why does it don't just have them do a dj reference use their skills instead of doing a, a rap freestyle now that was kind of weird they yeah. They fucked a lot of that up, unfortunately. Yeah, so, like, well. like it's 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 a set which you know I hope you'll bring up in in your review of it. Um, so you tell me, cast squeezing, you know, a, a turntable, 
you, you, you can understand. Exactly. You, you, you want to give the impression of the boot, right? Like the first incarnation of the boot, the, well, the first version of the boot was fine, right? That way, it's iconic, right? But the second yeah. version, if you look at it, it's kind of slightly bigger, though. So you tell me they could yeah. have pushed in a little, you know, a little DJ section for the the hosts yeah. who are DJs, mind you, to do their thing yeah. while the guys do their do their freestyles. I don't know, whatever. Yeah. But yeah, we we, yeah. we talk long enough. We could talk wholly about memories, right? Because yeah, uh, this this show really touched on my, um, on my nostalgia. But I was it, it really took me back, right? But it just gave such a, a rich history of that show. Uh, within three three episodes, though, that I'll bring that up in my review, right? With yeah, Ricardo, yeah, synopsis on you know this this mini series. Yeah, not, I I enjoyed for it was um nice 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 round down the history. They they you know it is admittedly a bit of a pop piece. It's BT. You know, they, they had only BT celebrities and they, the origin of BT. They had to do the typical stuff. I forget her name. Who's the um the female head of BT that, that Boondocks make fun of? Uh, oh, uh, or Deborah Hill. Deborah Hill, right. Yeah. yeah. Or they, or they um, made yeah, fun yeah, of her? Like, I, I forget that. Oh, you know, you know what's the episode of Boondocks? Oh, sorry. Deborah Lee. I, I feel I did it. Deborah Lee, sorry. Yes. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, after, uh, after uh, refresh my memory. But I, I saw all the Boondocks episodes, right? But I don't remember that one. Right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, but it's, it's all of them. The usual history. They get into the history of it. Um, they talk about the history of you know how the early guy, the head, the early head of um, of uh BT didn't really like rap, and there's a whole back and forth about that, and so on. So then the actual history of it, the original people, the first couple of hosts, well, the first guy, and then the kind of side guy who could have been the host. And who, yeah, I don't know those people at all. Mm-mm. Had no memory of that. I it's only through research of like just they see the name on a list. I'm like oh, okay, all right, but I don't know. I had no memory of that. Um, it's only until Big Les came on, and then um, Jay, what's his name? Um, Joe, Joe, uh, slipping my mind right That's now. Let me find him again. Joe Claire, Joe yeah, Joe Claire, Claire, Joe Claire. Joe Claire. Yeah. Right, yeah, for, with Joe Claire, uh, he came along, and it's that's when I remember. I remember Big Les. Then, then um, I remember because no Big Les was like a popular. She was reasonably like popular in the scene, but I didn't know Joe Claire at all. Like, but it's like, and then when Big Tiger come on, and that's when I kind of got into watching it on on television. Mm. Um, when we had cable, it's like, all right, cool. And then Tiger, the Tiger era is, is where it largely defined the era. It, it, it's just him. He, he the Tiger Tiger, he said he was good. Tiger, yes. Tiger, like actual, like I was actual, like solid rap on his own right. Yes. He, and as far as I know, he only had like one song like on bt itself that's a song with r kelly and cameron yeah um, that that snake would be that would be snake yep snake, I, snake, I, I yeah, remember the remix that. Snake. Mm-hmm. yeah the remix of snake i think yeah, uh, the remix, yeah. That, that was it uh but i it's surprised that Tigger never bought a big music career or anything like that on his own right but yeah he he they make it work um i like that it Tigger was like a big focus of it and he was very for lack of a better term he's pretty gracious all things considered um, yes, especially yes, knowing yes. that when they moved to that's when the big change started happened. Right, when, when they, they moved, moved from to Washington DC to New York, yes, yes. Right. And that was a big problem for them. I was like, okay, that that is when the, that was kind of the beginning of the end. That is when all the consolidation was happening. This was post 9 11. Yeah. Um, you know, all, all of that stuff was happening. And I remember just thinking at the time, it's like, yeah, I could see yeah, at the time. I remember when this is when hmm, 2003 or so, this is when I now leave high school. That is when you know, Rhapsody started to end mm-hmm. uh you can see the writing on the wall with the consolidation of stuff this is when the internet started to become a thing yes um i love i love how, how this show um emphasized that actually that was that was right very well yeah they explained it they explained it perfectly well because it wasn't just bt or rhapsody on its own they were just the the, the canaries on the coal mine for the stuff but across the board with cable you know it had something it had something called network decay if you look up that um and it, it's basically you know to, just to explain what network decay is how things how bad things get is that you had to shift away from everything and yeah it had it had uh wrestling and reality television on sci-fi that's how bad it was it, yeah, it, yeah that, 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 right. that was a thing folks that was a thing folks yeah that mm-hmm. was a thing right it, mm-hmm. that's how bad it got it's just everything was not making money the rise and fall of g4 is a really good way to understand this yes look, look speaking of, of which of um oh gosh um there's a great review about um yeah um good bad flicks put out a fantastic video about the rise right. and fall of g4 tv for right. gamers um it, it's a yeah. it's a video that i always go back to because i just like to see oh you know you know they were they were on the right track here but they make a mistake and they make more mistakes and oof yeah fall from there i i, I like stories like that i love cautionary tales like right. that right but yeah right but yeah, they, just the general general corporate consolidation of the mid two thousands killed it. And I, I always make this joke, and as a joke, I hold on to, and I'm correct about it. Uh, yeah, Soldier Boy is the antichrist of rap music. I make that joke, right? Dude, uh, like because, when they brought him into it, I was like, 
I forgot that what happened. And it's one yeah. of those things that, like, you know, like, cut. See, you wouldn't really think about because you remember the dance and remember how big it was. Yeah. Like, one of my friends in particular, I remember, like, he used to watch the, the, um, the, like just YouTube videos of Soldier Boy practicing the dance, right? You know, right? And, yeah, and he used to do that. He was obsessed with that, right? And that was a big, but yeah, I yeah, forgot that, big... that that yeah, it it kind of single handedly brought the end of yeah. Rhapsody. I didn't even do it. Yeah, I forgot it was, that. Sorry. It was the, yeah, it was the end of an American paradigm of rap music in that sense. Because like to me, I was just thinking of a more international conceit, and this was like the mid two thousand. So this is when Kanye West, now the new the ascendancy of Kanye West, was him. Just finishing the college trilogy, mm -hmm. now getting into the the fourth album, coming into that, you know, common. It was getting more conscious, and then you know, people like New Jabez and more. And I, I just was just all for the American scene entirely. Um, for I that period, that. <laughs> up on, yeah, up until like two to only until, and I make this joke is the, the analogy I make to 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 um to, to rap music. I just always make the joke. It's a, it's a crass kind of joke, but I say I was called Soldier Boy, the Antichrist of rap, and, and Kendrick Lamar, the, the Messiah. No? Like ah. that's when it came back. <laughs> Mm. Um, you know, in terms of in terms of an American conceit and how we should think about hip hop and everything coming back to form and you know all all is right with the world. No, no shade to Soldier Boy necessarily, but you know he represented something that was very ominous and you know in the whole scene and what he was. And yeah, he was the first of you know trending that whole you know the idea of going viral and and what is called it what is called that ringtone rap effectively. Yeah, it was it's, that period it's that. when mm -hmm. yeah, it was it's that period when YouTube wasn't big enough. To, to have the amount of data to pump out, but at the same time, it wasn't, um, it was still online, so it was, you couldn't really pull out that much data on your phone or everything, so everything was ringtones. And it had a period of time where people was making money literally over ringtones, and that was a whole thing. And it was a weird period. It was a weird transitional period. But yeah, uh, rap music was heavily suffering, and, and Big Tech was right, the, the culture did suffer for the death of Rhapsody. And for them to cancel Rhapsody in that way, and they had no way for it to transfer or, or be anywhere else, and it's kind of insane that Rhapsody just never could continue for what it is. I it would be kind of weird for Rhapsody to come back now. It's kind of weird. And and look, yeah. it's not to say that Big Tigger was they throw Big Tigger on the street and he was struggling or nothing like that. He has like a great career in 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 Atlanta and Philadelphia, I think. Um, um yeah, he he has a as a radio show. And you know that that's one thing I I really admire about these guys, right? Especially right. with the hosts and you know their their DJ backgrounds. Yeah, right. they, they have a plan B. They have a fallback plan, you know. Just right. do well, radio shows, the, right? Boom. Yeah. As I said, as I said, the interest in transference period was the 2000s. And how you know you used to see the sea change is when that early 2000s period, it had a bunch of people who had kind of no business being in the industry, and yet they were. Angie Martinez had a big hit song for some reason. Yes, yes. And it was a good song. It was. But like, why? Why is Angie Martinez doing music? That kind of weird, right? Yeah, that, that, and, that, and, 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 and I remember she had an album, but people don't talk about the album. They always remember that yeah. single, you know, If I Could Go with uh, right. Lil Mo. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, Sakario. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but yeah, that's how I think about it. And then um, if you know Benzino, Benzino is not a rapper. Like I, you know, Benzino was like this, more like an industry guy behind the scenes. And then he so, make himself into the, a rapper. The, the, the song that he had with Mario Wine and um, where does yeah. Mario Rock the Party? That was a yeah, pop. Yeah. That was a pop. No, I ain't saying no, you know. I ain't yeah. saying no, it was there, but it was one of those producer. Everything was everything felt strange and producer driven. And agreed. You're agreed. wondering, you're wondering what's going on. And I, I, at the time, as a kid, you know, I, I don't know how old I was. I was, I wasn't even eighteen at the time, right? I, I, so my brain wasn't really pieced together. But it was weird. Hmm. And I remember this when I, this when it hit me is when Jay Z had a, a re, uh, interview on Rhapsody. You could find this, this interview. I think it's, you know, they saw this little piece in the show where you, you just sung one of his songs and he didn't really do a freestyle. Um, yeah. Um, and I'll, I remember a lot of people like pull him up on that. It's like, yeah, hey, Jay-Z can't really freestyle. Ah, he, he just sing his, one yeah, of his songs. Yeah, he, 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 he just reference a song. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, one of his songs. Just do a, a line from his, his career. But whatever. Uh, he made, but he made a point about that and then that's when it hit me. Oh shit! Like something going on in the in the industry, or something going on somewhere that the man, that only the higher ups know about. And he made the point is that this is the best period for rap, and this is when he retired. Eh? Mm -hmm. This is this was the pushing black album, and he said, "Oh, this is the best period for rap, uh, for money money wise, but it's the worst period creatively." I'm like, mm, "Why mm. would you say that, Jay Z?" And he was correct, you know, in a sense. I mean, I don't I don't fully believe that because I, again, it, it got worse. Um, but right when the money was shifting and, you know, it's unfortunate that the, the only people who was like really trying and putting up, so, putting out stuff was the Dirty South um, at that point in time. But it was a little too late for that, at that point and everything started to implode. MTV was imploding. You know, everybody was imploding and, and it got to the point where you had Dick.com and the internet stuff started coming and everybody make the joke. Yeah, it have no, 
it have no um, MTV not making no music video anymore. Why are you call it MTV? That is your running joke right at, at that point. Yeah, yeah. And so it was interesting to watch that history consolidate itself. Because BT was was still going on. Like it still had one six and park now became more popular than TRL at a certain point. It's like, well, yeah, because TRL done. <laughs> that's it. Yeah. That's why. And, and so on and so forth. And it is more you know, higher ups corporate shenanigans going on to cause this thing and then we ultimately BT, you know, in the end of the day is the money. And I could get into a big iceberg involving, you know, black money and who black people how black people is that certain the black people who have money there is not really black people money. And we could get into a whole weird political iceberg and social iceberg for that. Not here for that. Mm. But I like that it was reflected in the material and who was being interviewed and why and you know at what levels it was happening and i could see people being villainized for certain reasons because i forget that woman's name but the one who was the kind of the enemy a big tigger right yeah i can see myself really hating that person back in the past because yeah she's the one who fuck up rap. oh that, 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 so that would be so penny forth. mcdonald's right yeah penny mcdonald right right and so on and so forth and yeah uh but i i really like how they get into it it is still a corporate product it's clear it's still clearly a, p- a puff piece for bt they ain't gonna get mm-hmm. into, they ain't gonna get too rough is, with which it. is fine which is fine mm. yeah, which is fine which is fine they ain't gonna get too dark with it they ain't gonna get too serious there ain't no allegations or nothing or nothing like that um but they keep it clean they keep it straightforward and they, they explain themselves for what it was and i enjoyed for what it was it, it, it only get real interesting coming down to the end in the third piece when they start to talk about the, the last set of people yes. and how much of a raw delay how much of a raw delay got because i don't know any of those guys i i, I vaguely knew um what's his name boy mad Lick, mad links yeah, I, I, I knew it. him, but the, the other guy, the last guy, I didn't know. I didn't know who he was. I didn't know at all. But yeah. you see, the problem is that by then, by then it was too late and the whole thing was imploding. And you could, you know, it, you know, it, it does have the last set of people that get a hole in the bag in terms of, you know, when things going good, you know, you know, you know, everybody, you, people could take credit. But who they just take the blame one way or the other. No. And, but I like that they did that. And for what it is, I get it. You understand why it was... This documentary could have come out 10 years ago, even 5 years ago. But get why it come out now. Because people have to get a story straight. Hmm. That's all I've seen. Documentaries take a while for that. Let me admit that. Yeah. But I enjoyed for what it was. This was really good. Um, You know, I don't think it's a classical masterpiece. It's not OJ made in America. It's not oh, a... Oh, oh, but, no. <laughs> right. But it, it is it is what it is. They, they make a, a great narrative. And it, they, they, tell, they tell what they had to tell. And they do what it is. And all things considered, it was pretty gracious and it went out on a good note uh, for it is, especially seeing the last episode and what it was. Like, mm. oh, okay, this is what it is. All right, no problem. And Everybody even, and even the last up. shot, though, well, slight spoiler, yeah. it, it, it's, with, it's with Tigger. I love that. That was right, great. Yeah. Right, of course. Yeah, because he, he is the he is Rhapsody. He is, he the, is you know, yeah. He is pretty much it. Um, and he was by far the best host, most charismatic. Most, he was really funny, genuinely talented as a rapper because, yeah, when it's time for him to come true. He, and, he, and just he came drop true. bars and drop lines. Yeah. He used to come true every time. And it's like, yeah, you you have to, like, straight up not embarrass yourself if you come as a guest now. You have to come ready either. That is what it was. And they used to just every episode had a decent boot. And it's a shame I missed a lot of Rhapsody because of the, because it was out of the chest. And I couldn't see it. But right, because so like, on come, weekdays, yeah. I used to come to school the next day and say, hey, boy, you know, take out real hard last night. I was like, yeah, but I didn't yeah. record it. Take, I couldn't record it or whatever it is. <laughs> uh, like, um, yeah, that was unfortunate. Uh, but yeah, uh, by the time the 2003 hit and I, I now started to leave and I, I went in, I now started to leave high school for the first time, uh, that is when it was pretty good, but I kind of was kind of off it at that point. And again, I, I was I started to become more up, incredibly obnoxious, quote-unquote, woke phase at that point. So I was like, yeah, rap music, and misogynistic, you, 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 and then back on. You, 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 you were being cultured, you were being cultured. Yes, exactly. And you know, <laughs> yeah, I, I, even though that 50 Cent album real hard, you know, we should but, sing but, it yeah, music. Yes. Come on, man. Yeah, yeah, all the black people, come on, type of, you know, that bullshit, right? Uh, but yeah, uh, by then it was, I, I, it, the writing was on the wall, though, by then, and you could tell. And even though you don't know, you can explain it, I can explain it now, for the most part, better as a, a workable, you know, you know, workable journalistic work. Uh, yeah, this this was, I, I enjoyed this for what it was. I, I had some fun with it, and I dug it. Written, yeah, like an 8 out of 10, I enjoyed for what it is. It, it does a lot, there's a lot of memory lane stuff um, for what it is, and it, 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 it's very strong in that sense. Um, so yeah, I, I, I dug this. Uh, yeah, eight out of ten. Yeah, um, I really enjoyed this as well too. What what surprised me the most though, like the big t- the big takeaway for me with this though, is how short this is, right? Because each yeah, yeah, one of these episodes it's, 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 is it's about rough, yeah, it, yeah, is about a forty minutes, 40 minutes so yeah. it's roughly with a ads, with, with yeah, ads with, be all. yeah with, with ads, right? But if you watch it like yeah. me without ads, yeah, it's like forty minutes yeah. per episode, right? 
but right. it, it covers not a lot of ground but it covers enough ground throughout its right. three episode run and i was really impressed by that right um you know just knowing that it started from you know when around the time when when rap was blowing up uh, in the yeah. mid to late 80s was amazing and just seeing just the, the innovations back then right whether it's the the the, the title by the way i i would yeah. never even like the title how they came up with the name of the show I was like, I wow, like, 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 I, like, like, God, I didn't realize that. What, like, no, one of my favorite rappers that. right now is Rhapsody, and I couldn't even, yeah. put the, like, what, what is wrong exactly. with me? What is wrong I, with me? I only, I only made that connection years after, but not with this, but years after, I remember, think, um, it had some interview, I was looking, I was doing research or something, and like, oh, that's why Rhapsody was called Rhapsody, and like, oh, okay, that's kind of clever, though, that's yeah, a clever boy. play, I mean, like, like, I had, yeah, to, yeah. I had to slap myself in the face, you're like, oh, you didn't realize yeah, yeah. this or, after all these years, right? Yeah, right, right. um, and you know, it's, it's a good thing that Mass Appeal actually uh, worked at this, right? Because I am very glad they did this. Yes. Yes. You know, like you know, right you know now, sh- right shout now, out to Nas, but keep yeah, doing Nas, these stuff. Nas right now is kind of the like I admit it. Nas right now is kind of the lodestone of the culture, right? Like I admit that. Now. Yeah, like boy. He just straight up putting the money in. He's the one who he, he he's one of those you know prophets or rap type people who like yeah you know, he, he, people call him one of the greatest. He start when he was he's he pretty much rapping he rapping his whole life. And so on and so forth. So yeah, I, I really happy. I'm really glad that Nas put this together and, and they make it work. Yeah, yeah as, as just this curator of like the culture itself, not just exactly. the music, but exactly. the culture yeah. itself. Way, wow, right? But yeah, man, because this actually remind me of um well, one of the one of the first documentaries, right? But it was a feature. This is called um uh, it's about video music box, right? So this is right. what was out during the 80s so this was before your your mtv raps right so this was right. like the precursor to that and rap city it's a, it's a really solid doc you should check it out right uh but like that one um this is not no masterpiece of a documentary right you know you get the talking right. heads you get the you know the the the, the songs here or there uh, i thought it's pretty cool that they use comments i used to love her as a team right. for this so i was like all right all right nas i like that I like that. I yeah. like that. That, that, that. That's nice because if you remember that song, that song is about, well, you know, the love of hip hop and how it changed over the years. And it's like, well, yeah. I wish it went back to the way it was, but it can't, right? So, you know, yeah. the, that's a perfect, perfect choice of song for that, right? Um, just seeing the people who were there from day one was 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 really fascinating. It was cool seeing Charlemagne the God, yeah, because I know that right, I would right. know everything about rap well, it, it, what, I, what I like, what I like, they did they, 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 the the conceit of how a bunch of modern shows just kind of rip off rap city where it was. Like, in terms yeah, of like how in, you, in the third episode, I love how they do that because yeah, so they, they, you know they, you they, would, would think about it, right? But yeah, stuff yeah, like exactly. um, stuff like what Joe Button doing, stuff like um, right. uh, drink champs, drink all champs, that yeah. is inspired champs, by right. rap city, right. like, really? pretty much right. You're yeah. Right, even this right. show, even, even this our show. show here, yes, yeah, so yeah, yeah. Like that, so, right? I mean, yeah. Tanky Rap City, right? You know, if it wasn't for that, we wouldn't have this, right? We wouldn't be talking about rap and shows related to that, right? Um, yeah. it was cool seeing Ludacris, and what catch me though is when right. they had TI, but I was like, would that we right. talk about, right? Because, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, we their, their careers blew up in the 2000s, thanks to Rap City, right? Just seeing their yeah. videos, right? Um, like, I'll never forget seeing Rubber Band Man from TI for the first, like, hey, who's this yeah. guy, right? Um, in, in the case of Ludacris, seeing Southern Hospitality for the, for the first yep. time, and he and that beat, Plus. right? You know, yeah. um, I didn't even know that Ludacris was like doing his thing from, from like, I know he was he was doing this thing from way back, right? But they had a clip of him where he and Shaka Zulu was there and I think this was where Big Les was there and, and she asked the man to do all freestyle and the man do it like hey hey that we talking about right um, seeing you know a tribe called Quest you know even though you didn't see much of Q-Tip you saw Five Dog you know Rest in Peace right, you know right. just those early clips I really really loved though um, Jim Jones was there for some right. reason um, Joel Santana and Freaky Ziki was there Freaky, yes Freaky, Freaky, I, I was like Freaky yeah. said nothing you're like no, why did you yeah. do it here why, yeah 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 but it was interesting to see them come through. Like, all right, what? Yeah. All right. What, but what? I, them, them was, there was an interesting, like, little, I'll, I'll say, effectively, a kind of failed experiment by Jeezy, right? Remember, Jeezy was trying to pull up a bunch of Philly people. Yes. Uh, and trying to really make a, a thing out of them. And they didn't blow up, blow up as much as they could. Yeah, uh, who, was, who like, was feeling them, the worst for was Young Guns, boy. Ooh. Right, Young Guns, um, Oskino and Spart, all them dudes. Yeah, um, boy. Listen, I still think, I still think <laughs> one for PD Crack is a banger, you know, to this day. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, you know? yeah it, it is. But you know, your career never blow up is unfortunate, so whatever. Yeah, boy. Uh, but again, it's one, of those, it's one of those sea changes kind of moments. Now. Like, if they came a little earlier, they kind of missed the party, you know, if you forgive the pun. Um, they kind of missed, they come too late now, unfortunately. Mm. It's, it's the same reason why, why Joel Sander never blow up and he should have. 
Yeah, oh, I, I agreed, yeah. Um, and I would say, you yeah. know, if you're a 2000s hip-hop fan, you will love this, though. Um, but it yeah. has stuff for the 90s head, like like me, right? So, you know, it was cool right. seeing, like, um, you know, just, like, acts like, say, Brand Nubian, or um, I yeah. think, I, well, they, they, they mentioned Black Moon, but they didn't really see them on screen, I right? was so glad, I was so glad they was playing, like, stuff like, um, shit, they play some Big L, Jordan. I'm like, what? Yes, boy. I play Big L track, yeah, they're like, yeah. like, remember that Big L? Big L, Big, Big Daddy Kane. Track, I was in the man song again, boy. Oh, uh, um, oh gosh, um, Platinum Plus, no, is that Platinum Plus, yes. right? Like, yeah, I but but it? but yeah. the moment that catch me, right? You know, it's it, it's part of of rap history, right? But I didn't know it happened in BT. I, I it's one of those things you kind of forget. Uh, the final interview of of the you know, of the Stories Big. Like I just yes, always yes. saw that clip. Well, I, 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 it's on YouTube. Thank God, so I should actually watch it. But like I didn't think of it. I didn't. I didn't piece together that. Like I thought it was. It was just a BT interview, just just there, right? right. But I didn't think that it was part of Rap City. I was like, wow, that makes yeah. sense, right? Um, yeah. I love how they compare the fall of. Rhapsody to the rise of 106 and Park, right? Um, right. And, you know, just mentioned, because, yeah, I mean, I would not lie, 106 and Park was big, right? Especially when well, AG and Free were there, you know, it was it was like, you know, we didn't have TRL anymore, yeah, yeah. so this was like the replacement for it, right? Uh, it was a way well, to see was, big name celebrities, and uh, in particular, it was like uh, just seeing, like, world premiere videos. That was the still, like, exactly. let's see the premieres, right? Right. And But I understand, and I can understand why Big Tigger was, was thing, but he was, yeah. like, the machine name, um, What's her name again? The 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 producer. She she was kind of correct about that. It's like, look, number two is good. Oh like, right, you right, know, Penny. Yeah, up. yeah. Um, I yeah. I, I get her logic, eh, but I could yeah, totally course. understand. Yeah, she's totally correct. She's I, totally correct. Yeah, I could totally understand why that would piss off um Tigger, right? I do remember, right. you know, a couple episodes where he was there, right? But you know, it's one of those things you just think about. Oh, okay, he there. And I still to this day, right. I, so need, I know I need I know to I, big, I, I, I need to do a research follow. into why AJ and Free left. But I remember watching right. the show and they weren't there. And seeing right. Tigger and that other chick, I forgot her name, I'm like, right. what's going on here? And then it led to, right. um, so around, you know, around um, Terrence time is when and I saw her. it was Terrence and that that really right. cute looking Latina girl. I remember earlier right. on, um, oh gosh, Bawa was there. I was like, what right, is going right, on? Right. But even like in the I back remember, of my mind, I was like, all right, something bad's gonna happen. This this is kind of wrapping up here. All know? Of the, listen, this was all the writing on the wall of the, consul- exactly. the corporate yeah. consolidation. Because I remember, so I still follow Free Online, right? Um, oh, okay. And she's kind of talk about it. She's gonna talk about it sometime, kind of thing. But AJ went up the corporate ladder because this, you know, I was wondering where AJ from, but AJ cut his hair and he gone, he gone. You find him on E, e Entertainment and wherever it is now. Uh, so it's all of the. Oh, yes, that's true. I, I exactly. all, the, all the little corporate corporate movements and what happens is that people forget one of the big corporate consolidation changes was well, one the one terror nine eleven stuff. But people forget the main reason is that the, 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 because of the internet, that is one thing. But they never talk about um, the rise of reality television, right? That just kind of kill everything, you know, because it creates such a sea change in terms of where the money is shifting and who making more money and why. Yeah, it just kind of kill everything. And I can understand why 106 and Park died and, and ri- you know, the rise and fall of 106 and Park was a whole thing. Like, I'm surprised we didn't get a documentary on that. Um, but it was, it is what it is. It was basically Black TRL, and, but in some ways it was kind of a better show, to be honest. Um, I, I, I agree. Like, like yeah, for me, Rhapsody yeah. will be the show, but because it right. literally came at half six, it's like, Hey, let me see yeah. what make it to the top tech. I was curious to see what was top tech, right? And right. just talking brief quickly, right? So what kind of make it work? Because, you know, back then we were in school, so we wasn't around between one to four, where they used to have Sita's will, kids ask their parents, where right. they used to just right. have like a full two, three hour block of I, I know, R&B I and rap video. joints. Yeah, so uh, it was okay. cool seeing R&B and rap together, and it was like right. a top 10 list, right? But if right. Yeah, I remember Rap City had their own top 10 list um, right. show that was on Saturdays. That used to be from, right. I think it was like 7 to 8 or 8 to 9 or whatever it is, right? And that was cool, right? But yeah, you could understand why Rap City ended up being the B show, right? So let's talk it quickly, right? right? I, I do love how they touch on when the other um other host came in. Because I remember like the first guy who showed up, right? I remember how they changed the boot. Um I, I always hated the background of how they did over the, the, the set. Um Yeah, they make it they try to make it this this high end kind of apartment kind of thing. It's like look yeah, again, I know, all them, I know I know black people making money here, yeah, but oh god man, you could have you could have chill. And, but again, and, again, I, I'm the kind of weirdo who would have be I was the kind of bullshitter who would have be like, Yeah, that's a good change, you know, we tried the culture of the place. That bullshit. Sorry, yeah, and, and I'm, a, I'm, uh, I'm, yeah. I'm, I, I, I still, I, I feel like I'm the only one to this day who kind of hated the specific background. There, there was like this, this, um, 
let me call it artwork, right? That was in the back of the the uh, if you remember from of the actual couch itself, right? And you used to see coats, so you see like a two-pack coat there and a Houdini yeah. coat. I used to see some watches like, oh, what is this? Where where yeah. the posters, man? Where's the violator post record yeah. poster? Where's that? Yeah. And then when you go into the boot, yes, I like the graffiti and you know the oh, you know, you're signing him in the wall shit. I like that, but it could yeah. not compare yeah, yeah. to the black and you know, like the neon light and that, the you know, that, that it, one it is, black is. panther poster in the back of the Bob Marley one. Yeah. Oof, yeah. You could not no, it is, pull it a candle is, it to is that. Very, no, it is a big like it is a big cultural push with black people and and look again I could get into a rabbit hole and a and a whole iceberg borderline conspiracy theory as to why this was a change right this was a big change it was to do cultural stuff there's a boondocks episode about this right and it's to do with a certain American president that's all I'll say um but that's why it was changing it was this little cultural sea change and I that's again kind of song borderline conspiracy theory but you know is 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 the reason why it is that the Dave Chappelle show had to end and you know it it put in black people to it to it to get to black people kind of thing time to get rid of that time to gentrify black people and that's why that was the way it was and BT was at the core of that that is why there's that anti BT episode on the boondocks let's admit that because it was some nonsense it it doing all of the you know stuff about people making money in this one way but then trying to cater in this other way and it's some insidious nonsense sorry to say whoever i now remember the video that went from uh bt uncut to rap city to to 106 and park silk the shocker he did that you serious yes okay pretty sure pretty sure silk the shocker he did that was in the top 10 oh wow sure. okay like i haven't, was, I haven't was seen like that video nine. or heard that song in ages wow no, it was it was either in number nine, it was either number nine or something like that, but it made it. Oh, I'm pretty okay. sure somebody could correct me on this, but I'm pretty sure Sunny Shocker he did that. I know that shit was because Sunny Shocker he did that is one of the most cheap, ugly fucking videos ever. ever. <laughs> but yeah. it was there, it was there. It had a real uncensored version. I remember it got on Rhapsody and then it got to thing. I think Master P about that also was probably one of those. I'm okay, trying to remember. Okay, okay, okay. Again. again Please correct me. You could go through the tapes and somebody could, could, could correct me on this one. But I, I remember that. Whatever. Yeah. Because the Shaka uh, was on the same thing. It right. was there. But yeah, I, I do like the comparisons between, you know, that and, well, again, you know, the whole Rise and Fall, right? Um, right. Right. So as as for the, the, the end of Rhapsody itself, right? I, I will never forget. I, I think that final episode, if I'm not mistaken, aired on a Saturday night. I did Saturday not watch night. that. I didn't even know that happened. It's only, I, it's only like weeks after. Oh, like, okay. Oh, it, it was like that for you, yeah. Yeah, because yeah, because right, because for me, yeah. like it, it wasn't like it was widely announced, right? Like pop the size, yeah. whatever. I just sort of tune in and I saw, oh, it was the last one. But for yeah. some reason, I don't remember much of it. I don't think I even watched the whole thing at that time. I was like, exactly. yeah, the writer was on the wall anyway, and I didn't really care. Right? Yeah, exactly. How 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 I really yeah. noticed it, right? And we'll wrap up here. Is that if you remember at a point in time, right, this was around the time when um. 106 was about to wrap up and well Rhapsody had its final episode do you have a, this weird thing where be, before 106 right like for the morning up until 106 right and then afterwards you used to have repeats of older shows right whether it's right like, yeah well, that's, that's, that's when you know that's when you know people um, you know having a meltdown yeah yeah, when and, 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 the network, the died, yeah. yeah and, and in particular um because fun fact like on saturdays right um in the afternoon times of everything they used to have a, a special guest like our guest rapper show up and host like oh you know this is my top 10 you know favorite rap song blah 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 right so they used to have one with 50 cent and then they had a, a one with g unit in particular right and they used to have the shit on loop like just over and over and over along with other older you know, previous um, tapings of shows like Sita's Wheel and stuff like that, right? Yeah, and it yeah. was kind of reminiscent of like what was going on in G4. Because, yeah, while, you know, stuff like X Play and, and Attack of the Showers was about to leave, yeah, they used to run old episodes of like Cops and, you know, Gamers and oh, they, this older content they used to just used to have on Loop Boy. So when I saw that on BT, I was like, all right, well, yeah, that's the end. So when by the time the, the finale of Rhapsody came, I was like, okay, well, I, you know, I didn't really care that much, now, but I like how they recapped it. Um, and I like that just in general, you know, even though the the, 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 the last two hosts, especially that last one, boy, how that DJ got the gig, boy, I was like, God yeah. damn, but that, yeah. that was bad. Yeah. That was bad, yeah. though. Stephen Hill, what what were you doing? Did you just watch him and say, yeah. hey, 
I want to hire you. Like, bro, that's, that's yeah, not how nobody. it works, boy. Don't do that. Yeah, man. they are nobody. They are nobody. Yeah. Yeah, but thank God for him. Thank God for him. He, he, he bounced back. Eh? I'm glad, right. glad that the hosts are still doing things in the world of right. music, you know, even though they're not with BT anymore, you know. So I like that. I like that. Yeah. But yeah, um, as a whole, um, I really enjoy this though, right? Um, for me, just again, just what really made, made it work for me is how short it is, right? Because this could have just been like a five episode thing and sort of worn its welcome out quick. But no, it was yeah. the point. It was, it was, it wasn't fast, fast, fast. But it got the point. Um, it gave exactly. me the goods and more. Uh, and though, yeah, while it didn't really go too, too, too deep though, I felt it, it didn't really need to, right? Um, if you want to, it's one of those, if you want to know more, I don't know, Google it or watch a, listen to a podcast or something so and you'll hear more, right? But it gives you the basics, it gives you the gist of what went down, especially with the, with the fall of Rhapsody though. But I really like the rise of it as well and how it got big and how it helped shape the culture in the mid 90s to, well, mid 2000s, right? Uh, you know, just see the whole show up and talk and, you know, be a little, you know, yes, disappointed over how things play out, but still like, you know what, we still had a fun time, right? I really appreciate that, right? So yeah, I absolutely enjoyed this. So uh, for me, I'm going to give this a light to DC 4 out of 5, right? Though it's not some groundbreaking documentary series though, but if you're a Rhapsody fan, trust me, you will enjoy this though. I just, and you know, it's just like both a love letter to the show and yeah, just informative in terms of its development and evolution and how it helps shape the culture but also seeing how unfortunately it it fell though it it is really one of those unfortunate stories right but similar to like that um g4 video that i mentioned earlier on yeah i could see this as a cautionary tale as well though it it, it, in particular um because not like they weren't in tune with how the how the rap was changing right but it's just how the world around it was changing too that they didn't really anticipate and you know it's just unfortunate how things play out the way it did right but its legacy still lives on man you know and i i'm really glad that the show kind of you know um you know brought that to light as well at least reminded us rhapsody fans uh of that right uh close to this um i would say if you're not a rhapsody fan you 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 you, you come out of this wanting to wanting to learn more about it but you felt it didn't really give you enough i could understand right but again it's one of the shows where it gives you enough info and if you want to know more you just do more research right it's like that right but it's really for the fans and i i don't blame it for that because yeah that that right. show just really did change our lives man you know especially for me seeing you know videos for the first time seeing world premieres for the first time seeing uh freestyles you know like that and you know it, it just fueled my passion for rap right and, uh, and it was the same for many people around the world right not just in the states or whatnot right but yeah um if you're a diehard fan definitely check it out but you know non-fans who interested or probably curious i'd say yeah check it out man you'll, you'll enjoy it man say so, ricardo any any last words on it before we move forward or does it yeah, yeah this was a nice a nice um dong memory lane uh kind of thing for me i i ultimately really liked it you know it's again a little bit of a puff piece but it it does it does a good job with with, with covering the history and and you know why why we why we love this stuff so much and they make it work for waiters and uh ultimately i i, I jumped um what was my written again like uh, eight out of ten yeah seven. about that yeah and and lastly yeah, yeah. lastly bt or whoever works there or work there right uh please put out those 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 um boot freestyles please put them on your channel please like i don't know like remaster them or something just put them out yeah. there, right just just, yeah. just do that you know so 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 fans and future fans and future rappers can look to those and be like all right i want to be as great as that or if somebody put me on the spot i want to flow freestyle as great as that right it it, it kind of sucks that we have to kind of seek these these freestyles in like random youtube channels though but yeah bt come on do do all some man you know they'll put it out put it out there right you know do that yeah 